Sesamoid bone. In anatomy, a sesamoid bone, slash SS mid slash, is a bone embedded within a tendon or a muscle. It is derived from the Latin word sesamum, sesame seed, due to the small size of most sesamoids. Often, these bones form in response to strain, or can be present as a normal variant. The kneecap is the largest sesamoid bone in the body. Sesamoids act like pulleys, providing a smooth surface for tendons to slide over, increasing the tendon's ability to transmit muscular forces. The sesamoid is a small nodular bone most often present embedded in tendons in the region of the thumb. Calcification of sesamoid bone is one of the important features of pubertal growth spurt, which is earlier in females than in males. Absence of sesamoid bone indicates delay in reaching puberty. Structure Sesamoid bones can be found on joints throughout the body, including Common variants Clinical significance Other animals In equine anatomy, the term sesamoid bone usually refers to the two sesamoid bones found at the back of the fetlock or metacarpophalangeal and metatarsophalangeal joints in both hindlimbs and forelimbs. Dot strictly these should be termed the proximal sesamoid bones whereas the navicular bone should be referred to as the distal sesamoid bone. The patella is also a form of sesamoid bone in the horse. Although many carnivores have radial sesamoid bones, the giant panda and red panda independently evolved to have an enlarged radial sesamoid bone. This evolution has caused the two species to diverge from other carnivores. The red panda likely originally evolved the pseudothumb in order to assist in arboreal locomotion. When the red panda later evolved to consume a bamboo diet, the enlarged bone underwent exaptation to assist in grasping bamboo. The giant panda, however, evolved the enlarged radial sesamoid bone around the same time as it evolved a bamboo diet. In the giant panda, the bone allows for a pincer-like motion and is used in grasping the bamboo. In these two panda species, DINK2H1 gene and PCNT gene have been identified as possible causes for the pseudothumb development. Recently, the enlarged radial sesamoid bone of cotton rats has been studied. Their enlarged radial sesamoid bone and that of the giant panda have a similar morphology and size relative to the rest of the hand. The reason for this evolutionary change is still unknown, however, it may be to assist in grasping small objects and thin branches.